Well, the seeds are out for the NC2A Women's Soccer Tournament. And the USC Trojans are a two seed, tying the highest seed in school history. They were previously a two seed back in 2007, and that year ended pretty darn well for the Trojans. So we are looking forward to more fun from them this postseason as well. And we're joined now by the head coach of those USC Trojans, Kidani McAlpine. Coach, thanks so much for joining us. And let's start by talking about the fact that the season didn't start all that well. Lost your first two matches. But then what a turnaround, 10 wins in a row, including seven clean sheets, which has you headed to your third NCAA tournament in your third year at USC. So pretty successful stint so far. So how proud are you of how the team turned things around and finished off the regular season this year? Extremely proud. Um, I think it's very difficult when, when you have high expectations of, of what your season's supposed to look like and then you open up the season and, and drop two, you could drop your head and, and uh, lose your way a bit, but uh, I thought the leadership on this team was fantastic. Um, rallied around and, and really just kind of put their nose down and started just going back to work and, and game to game it started to grow in confidence and, and slowly but surely we were on a roll. Yeah, on a roll, no doubt. It was incredible watching that stretch of wins and it was like nothing could get past your goalkeeper who we'll get to in a minute. But let's get down to the details now. We saw your two seeds going to be facing Eastern Washington in round number one. I know you have some Washington ties, so what do you know about those Eastern Washington Eagles? You know what, their new staff has done a, a fantastic job uh, since they've joined, uh, joined Eastern Washington and They've got that team playing really, really hard. They're scrappy. They're, they've, they've got a, a big-time goal scorer. Uh, I think her name is Chloe, the number 10. Um, and, and really, just after that team believing. I mean, it's their first NCAA tournament, and they're coming in really excited, wanting to kind of continue to keep this thing going. But extremely hard-working team, tough team to play, and, and they have some experience. They, I know they've uh, upset a few teams up there. Now, I know we never want to look past our first round opponent, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to force you to do that, at least for a second. <laughs> As you look at the, the other teams in your bracket, uh, you know, any, any thoughts on any of the teams you could be playing if you do, in fact, move on? No, great teams. Uh, all great teams. You look at uh, TCU and, and Texas A&M. Texas A&M had a, a, a tough year, lots of injuries, but toward the end now, they've started to get those players back. They're feeling pretty good. Uh, TCU showed their worth yesterday as they played a tough West Virginia team. Uh, one, the only two goals that West Virginia gave up in, in uh, conference play this year, they scored them and, and were a minute and 40 seconds away from beating the number one team in the country. So um, both teams are quality, and, and as, as we look forward, that's, that's going to be a challenge. And then, you know, you've got Florida State looming out there, and they're, they're a quality team as well. So um, no easy games, no easy games in the tournament, but we, we, we've, uh, we've played a schedule, so we feel pretty prepared. Yeah, and speaking of quality and leadership, which you mentioned earlier, we've got to talk about that woman in the back of your team, Sammy Jo Perdome, just got better and better as the season went on. A school record 11 of your 12 shutouts this season. What does she mean to your squad? Sammy Jo has been fantastic. She has um, really improved her game since, since coming to us. Um, I think probably the most efficient she's been in her movement. She's made all the big saves, very timely saves, but she's made the, the small ones look simple as well. Um, she's been a very good vocal leader um, and, and controlling that back line. Um, she's just been steady and gives our team a lot of confidence. We like to attack, and when you have a player like that behind you doing that, playing that well, um, making the saves that she has, it allows us to play a little bit more open, a little bit more free, and, and really attack teams. Yeah, no doubt about that. Now, taking a, a big picture approach in our last couple of questions, Pac-12 <coughs> as a conference, six teams have made it into the NCAA tournament. So what does that say uh, about the Conference of Champions? Uh, it's, it's a quality league. I mean, when you look at the, the schedules the teams have played, um, everybody's prepared, everybody's done well this year. Um, the Season teams, great coaching, and, and, and confident teams. Uh, the, the title race, the, the top six teams were unbelievable, t tight all the way to the last, you know, the last game. So um, everybody's tournament ready. We, we've played a tough schedule, and, and uh, I, I think we're going to do well. The last question, since you have played the other five Pac-12 teams that have made it in, yeah. and you know the quality that they're going to bring to the tournament, any, any sleeper pick? Obviously, we know you and Stanford come in guns blazing, but what about the other teams that have made it in? I, I mean, I wouldn't call them a sleeper. I think any one of the top, top six teams can, can do well, but you look at UCLA's current run of form, you look at Utah and how they're playing, um, you know, Colorado has dangerous weapons in, in their, front, their forward line. I think... 
many of those teams can do well. If I had to choose one, I would say right now it's, it's, it's a toss-up between Utah and UCLA for me. Uh, Utah playing the ultimate uh, team game and, and um, UCLA with, with such dynamic personalities in their team. So uh, one of those te teams could, could shock some people. Well, and that's saying something. If the coach of the USC Trojans is picking a UCLA team to possibly <laughs> pull an upset. So, Kadani, so appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your prep for Eastern Washington and TCU and whoever else you might be playing. And, uh, hey, best of luck in the NCAA tournament. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it.